This is... And when the president said to you, when Jack Kennedy said, have you made up your mind, you had decided to have an abortion. Yes. I called Sam and I told him. I said, I'm coming to you for help. And I said, Jack and I are both coming to you for help. And I wanted to know if, I don't know if you can help us. And he said, first, let me ask you something. He said, I know, it's very hard. Take a deep breath. You okay? He said, do you want to pee today? And I said that I couldn't. And he said, well, let me ask you something else. He said, will you marry me? And I just, I, you know, I just, I fell apart. And I said, Sam, you don't want to marry me. He looked at me and he said, but you deserve to be asked. And I was so needy. And so alone. That I really did fall into his arms. And that was the one time we were intimate. The one and only time. Exner told us Sam Giancana arranged for her to see a doctor at Grant Hospital in Chicago. I checked into the hospital and was there two days. And you had the abortion in the hospital? Mm -hmm. Which, of course, was illegal at the time. Yes. With Exner's permission, 2020 obtained records from the hospital, now called Columbia Grants, confirming that she underwent a gynecological procedure called a DNC on January 26th. The surgeon would later report the operation as an incomplete, spontaneous abortion, a miscarriage. But Judith Exner told me on the telephone yesterday that her abortion was induced. Judith, this is clearly a terrible thing for you to even think about, let alone talk about publicly. It's also a very serious issue. I mean, you're saying John F. Kennedy, President of the United States, made you pregnant, that you then had an abortion. Yes. What about the people who are going to say inevitably, there she goes again, there's another story? I have no choice. They can say what they want. I'm not going to perjure myself, not for Jack Kennedy, not for the Kennedy family, not for this country. I believe she's telling the truth. Exner entrusted her secret to columnist Liz Smith, who writes about it in the January issue of Vanity Fair. Why are you willing to risk your credibility on this particular point, which is very explosive? I'm willing to say she's convinced me. Uh, I don't know, I guess I, I think I'm like every run-of-the-mill reporter at heart, I think that we want to try to tell the truth, set the record straight. We want to air these things. We want, we want Judith Exner to finally tell us the truth. Exner says she's always been afraid to tell her whole story and has only divulged the barest details when other sources started making them public. Now she says she's revealing her pregnancy because she fears it will come out if transcripts of Sam Giancana's private phone conversations are released. And because she wants to set the record straight on her intimacy with Jack Kennedy, her friendship with Sam Giancana. This happened 30 years ago. The, the president is dead. Mrs. Kennedy is dead. There are two children who are married. One of them has children of her own. Given that it could hurt them and that maybe... What has people, it done to me? What has it's it done to you? It's robbed me of my life. Since 1975, I haven't had a future. I'm tired of worrying about the Kennedys. I'm worried about my s brothers and sisters, their children. They shouldn't have to hear someone say I was a mafia mistress. The worst thing I did was fall in love with a married man. It may be hard to think of Judith Exner this way, as a determined woman with the need to tell the truth. But perhaps we had the wrong impression all along. <laughs>